It's the Let's Go, Let's Go Show. KJ's in the house. What's up, KJ? What's up? What's up is Kelly Rowland. You know, we talked about it last week. She walked out of the Today Show. She was supposed to be the guest host, uh, but her dressing room was a little too small, KJ. She wasn't happy with it. And you know what? We had her back, KJ. Yep. We had her back. We're like, you know what? You just can't. You just can't be uh, giving Kelly Rowland some shady j- dressing room. You know what I'm saying? You got to treat her like a star because that's what she <laughs> is. You know what I'm saying? But people still want answers. She was on WGN this morning, and she was asked about why she walked out of the Today Show. Here's what happened. Are are you able to tell us what happened with that and just get it... No. Just get it out there, no? No, because I, I'm so excited and delighted to be here to talk about the movie and nothing else. I love the Today Show, love Hoda, and that is it. You know what? That is a real classy way to say, get the out of here with that Oh, big ups to Kelly Rowland for just being classy all the way around. Uh, apparently, Hoda, though, uh, she still wants Kelly Rowland to come back. I'm sure Hoda feels terrible about that whole situation. Uh, she says, I just want to say this. I have great love and admiration for Kelly Rowland. I adore her, and I want her to come back on our show, and I want her to host again. Well, she never hosted the first time, KJ. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hoda even said that that Kelly Rowland could share her dressing room. They'll be in it together. I don't know if that's any better either. Yeah, I was gonna say that's <laughs> that's not a fix. That's not that's not, that was that, that was the whole point. You want to impress me? Give up your dressing room. You take the other. One. Right. The whole point <laughs> is that Kelly wanted a dressing room that was uh, fit. For her. You know what I'm saying? Not sharing dressing rooms. I don't know. We'll see if she ever goes back to co-host on the Today Show. I mean, you got to treat your guests right. You know what I'm saying, KJ? Yeah. Got to treat your guests right. Speaking of guests and someone that's close to Kelly Rowland, Beyonce and her husband, Jay-Z. They had a guest come over to the house once, actor Bradley Cooper. And Bradley Cooper says he went over there to have a meeting about uh, the movie A Star is Born. Because initially he wanted... Uh, Beyonce to co-star alongside him in that movie, KJ. Wow. But when he went over to Beyonce and Jay-Z's house, he walked in and he noticed something interesting. Jay-Z was watching Judge Judy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Did did you know Jay-Z was a Judge Judy fan? No, I can't picture that one. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, mean, think about it. Of all the channels that Jay-Z and Beyonce probably have at their home, you know, Judge Judy is what Jay-Z chooses to watch. (laughs) I mean, my goodness. Uh, Bradley Cooper said in a recent interview, he's like, I, yeah, I'm not kidding. I was freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't play him. And of course, you know, eventually Beyonce dropped out of A Star is Born and uh, Lady Gaga took over that role. And it all worked out perfectly because Lady Gaga was amazing in that role. Yeah. Great movie. Great movie. Speaking of, Lady Gaga. She is on Fortnite today. She's the latest uh, musician to join the Fortnite Festival. Uh, The weekend was on there. Lady Gaga's on there today. She has about seven songs that you can play on Fortnite. So make sure you guys check that out. And finally, the champ is here. John Cena is on OnlyFans, KJ. Oh, wow. (laughs) That's right, but he's not on as John Cena. He's on as a character. He's playing in a new movie. Uh, his uh, OnlyFans account is Ricky Stanicky. Okay, this is the name of a movie that he's going to star in and the character that he's playing. So he's on OnlyFans as Ricky Stanicky. Uh, John Cena also said, you know, like you've never seen me before. I don't know if you ever seen the movie Trainwreck, KJ. No, it came out like 2015. LeBron's in it. Uh, Amy Schumer's in it, and, Le- and uh, John Cena has a role in there, and uh, where he's just you know just blow, uh, you know him and uh, Amy Schumer just throwing down. <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> butt cheeks are out, KJ. It's oh, wow. a full it's a full moon in this movie of John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> so he's not lying. I have seen him before, unfortunately, but I will not be signing up for his OnlyFans account. <laughs> no, thank you, John Cena. I'm good. But this movie looks really funny. Ricky Stanicky. It's coming out March seventh. Hey, for more episodes, follow my podcast wherever you listen to podcasts at Esco Let's Go. That's one word, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the same, Esco Let's Go, E-S-K-O-L-E-T-S-G-O. Thanks for listening.